say hello world. Say hi, Ella Joy. Hi. I did <laughs> blowing kisses. Hi. Hi. That's nice kisses. How old are you now, Ella? Are you 20 months? Not quite two years? Yep. Yep. We're saying little words, single words, and we just thought we would come on and say hi. Just one of your new favorite words, huh? No, you've just been saying hi for a long time. <laughs> to all the people, all our friends, and all our family around the world. Okay? And so I just felt inspired to come on here and just say hello. I have to say personally, I'm going to move over like this. Whoosh. I'm going to have to say personally that uh, it is now 2017, and yet in 2016, it was a rough year, wasn't it, Ella Joy? <laughs> Not for you, but for me. Um, I guess um, just becoming a mom, I uh, just was witness to how much the ego likes to use that against itself and against everyone else. And um, I think the biggest thing that I've been learning here is um, the ego makes up its own function for every person and every single relationship that you have. And so I got to see the function that I was overlaying on top of Tom specifically. And I also had other um, friends come into my life that allowed me to see how much I was also um, projecting my function onto them. So it was almost like I got to see the complete split in my mind between um, special love and special hate. And I realized that as you have these functions that you've ascribed to other people, you can't be fulfilling the function God has given you. And I think what it was for me is over these seven years that I've been on this path um, to awakening, to healing, to being perfectly happy as God promises us to be. I've let that be the function that has guided me. And um, yet I didn't know how much I was still carrying with me in regards to being a mom. Are you being a mom to your baby right now? Yeah. Um, and also just the like husband wife dynamic that takes place and it's amazing like when a child comes in the picture um, everything changes like all of a sudden in a single day you're like in this new role and you have this new mindset and you're to take care of and think about all these different things that you never thought of before and I guess you really get to see then like the different upbringings and the parents like you know Tom was brought up Polish you know he was brought up in a totally different way than I was and so the way that he does things is different than I do and if you're not vigilant on remembering who this person is not your husband <laughs> you know not your baby but like your equals in in God and in creation um, and if you lose sight of that, that equality, and if you lose sight of the purpose of your relationship, you know, the function that God has given it, um, then it's literally a living, breathing hell <laughs> that happens. And I took myself quite deep into the darkness of my own mind. And maybe that's part of the reason why I haven't shared because there hasn't been much light to inspire sharing. You know, I've been really kind of caught in my own stuff. And I think I've um, also had to um, let go of, um, yeah, the function also ties in with, uh, well, my, my monitor just turned off, which is really odd. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see me anymore. <coughs> I know, mommy's trying to fix it. Oh, there we are. Now I see myself. No. Oh. Um, because a function that I ascribed to Tom had everything to do with the body and things of form and the way things look and the pretty pretty picture and all this stuff and I didn't realize how much I was still valuing that, how much I was taught that. Are you trying to take me away? Um, so here I am now saying that the corrections are happening within to show me what is of value, to show me how much pain comes from assigning my own function to someone. Do you want to come say goodbye and we'll just say goodbye? I think your quinoa is ready anyway. And actually, Tom just ran out to the store. Mm -hmm. Come, come, get the kisses to the people, not to me. Come, come here, and then I'll follow you, okay? Come. Come, 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 come. You want to show them your little dance? And uh, so, yeah, we get to just die. So other than that, life's amazing. Like, sincerely amazing. That's the thing that's so funny. Hold on, people. Like, sincerely amazing. And that's how I've been able to see how insane 
<laughs> the ego is. Yeah. Yeah, because the way that my life is set up is clearly that God is love and he has given Yay. his children everything, but that it doesn't matter what happens in form. If you are thinking the thoughts of the ego, you will experience its insanity and the, the pain and the effects of that. And so vigilance in your projections and recognizing that it all starts here and then correcting it there is so imperative for a happy life and happy relationships. I cannot stress it enough. And um, this is where our deepest, darkest stuff happens is in our everyday relationships. You know, it's one thing to go around and like talk about this stuff, but unless you live it on a daily basis, it's a totally different story. Ready to go play now? Okay, I'm gonna go play with Ella. Um, and we're gonna, you know, go have some quinoa, right? Yeah, okay, I love you people, say bye. <laughs> Okay, bye everybody. So, the last thing that I wanted to mention here that I didn't get to say in the last one because I just closed really quickly um, was, we'll take on that after, okay? Is that the next few videos that I'm going to make are probably going to be with Tom because they are going to be videos about our life and just like the unfoldment of everything that happens here. You can't type on there yet. I'll let you do that after, okay? Yeah. Okay, do you want to go get your baby for a second and bring her over here and say hi? And so I think that that's important to point out because then you'll get to hear both sides of our story in regards to parenting, both sides of our story in regards to living on the faith and trust of God, both and both sides of our story of how we, what do you see? How we started our business and um, what we are doing to launch our first product, the Universal Mediation Program. And so I guess like the new wordage that has come to the way we live our life is bootstrapping it, a much more technical term. And uh, we literally are learning how to be CEO and president of a company every single day because that's what God is asking us to do here. And I never ever thought it would look like this, but it is. And it's pretty incredible. And so we are going to be documenting the whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna be documenting the whole process of um, bringing this app to the world and so we're literally putting together all the final steps to launch it and it's taken so long because we are we have the customer and we have you guys in mind the users in mind and we want it to be perfect you know we can't give out a you know a minimum viable product with something that deals with human psychology um, otherwise the ego will get in the way of them even completing the process and we've clearly wow it's a big step clearly learned um, how much ego does not want to resolve conflict so um, we really are also going to focus on the aspects of cooperation and um, um, contributing to a goal together which is what the app helps with as well so I'm really looking forward to that and I hope you are looking forward to that and so the next videos keep your eyes open for me and Tom together and maybe or maybe not little Ella Joy you can tell it's past her bedtime Okay, let's put some more water in here. And so I think that's it. I just wanted to say that. Okay, we're putting it in here. Oh, the days. I love you all. God bless you all. Thank you for being in my life, even though we don't see or talk every day or remotely even close to maybe even a few times a year. But you are in my heart, and I live everything for the sonship for our brother and sister souls around the planet. So... Thank you, and may we all give the love that we are and receive it back upon us that much more.